Hello everyone, this is Joe Cool 10 welcome back to Let's Play Lego Lord of the Ring. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the Village of Bree. Let's talk to this guy. My little ones want feeding, but I lost my soup pot somewhere in that road where that black rider was lurking about. Please find it for me. There's actually a couple of these quests that require items from the black rider. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know why they favored the Black Rider level more so than some of the other ones. Um, but yeah, there's some more there's more quests that we're gonna have to do in a minute. You probably saw this earlier, but we just hadn't. I, I didn't really want to bother with this till now. We couldn't have done this in story mode because um, we don't didn't get like a lesson till uh, until we got to Rivendell's, um, and so. And then I just didn't want to fuzz with getting too many of the Mithril Bricks um, until now, just because uh, it's better to get the Mithril Bricks in the levels, to be honest. Yeah, here we need to switch to Sam. If you have a Hobbit in your party and try to switch via the character wheel, it will change your other character to that Hobbit. So just make a note of that, because there will be several times where... That's gonna mess mess things up for you. But there's uh, three skeletons here that we have to build. Three dancing skeletons. There's actually a bunch of these throughout the hub area that you can build. Uh, most of them don't do anything, but these ones do. And if you and, and the music just keeps looping, it gets kind of annoying. So I just smashed all of them to stop it. Um, those. Those items there, even though they look like they're close, you actually have to kind of go around a crazy way to get to those or something. I don't remember. Um, because one of the exits to Bree is closed during the day. I think it's this one here by the blacksmith shop. That's closed. Uh, I actually passed this Mithra item up right here. It's actually back this way. Um... It's the one with these arrow studs, and for whatever reason, these arrow studs are not easy to shoot. I don't know what the deal was with these arrow studs, but I could not get, I could not get this, especially this first one here was being a real pain. Like, that second one I got right away, but this first one here I could not get to say, I could not get, I finally got it there. And there's the third arrow stud right there, and when you get all three, the missile brick appears. <clears throat> so there you go. So yeah, so if you're ever in doubt um, as to what item or how, what you have left in each area, just check the statue, and it will tell you your it will show you your progress for each area. But the boundaries for each area are a little weird. So you do not know which mithril item, which items count for which area. So it, it is hard. To, it is hard to know sometimes. But when we did get another blacksmith item, there was a bunch of blacksmith items here in Bree, just because that's where the blacksmith shop is. Now, there's actually nothing right here. Um, I was actually looking for another character quest, but it's actually. Um, is actually not it's actually uh, yeah I was looking for that but it's actually right over here I didn't see it until now so we'll talk to this guy I thought dead marshes was just a name I didn't think there'd actually be those things floating in there I ran away so fast I dropped my fancy umbrella yeah, we never saw any of the things floating in the dead marshes, just because they probably didn't want to show that. <laughs> Bless me. Thank you. So anyway, we got that mythal brick. So now, we're pretty much done with Bree. There's a couple of items here, but they we, we, we're better getting them here on this side by fast traveling to Weathertop and then just going this way back towards Bree. So, so. And what's nice about this is that a lot of these mithril bricks are going to take us around 
pretty much all over Middle Earth. So we get to see a lot of uh, cool locations here in Middle Earth. Uh, this game does a good job of uh, showing off all of the all of, all of middle, pretty much everywhere in Middle Earth. Um, that dig spot, it may seem like that didn't do anything, but it actually did uh, do something. But we're not gonna. I'm not gonna do that right now. This jump right here is so tough. I had to do this several times here to get this jump correctly. This jump is one of the trickier jumps to get right. And what's bad about it is if you miss it, you have to kind of go around because you slide down the hill, so you have to kind of go back around and climb back up. And climbing back up here is not easy, as you see. It's just crazy. And then you get disorient, and then you get disoriented, and it's just like, dude, seriously, that jump though is so hard. You guys have no idea how hard this jump is. It took me several tries to get this one. I missed it again. Yeah, and of course I tried to switch to Legolas with the other character, but it just switched me back to the Legolas to Legolas. It was already here, the Legolas was already there, so. There I finally made the jump. The second jump is not as hard, luckily. There's that missile brick. So there's these dig spots there. Oh yeah, and that's another thing I don't like about this either is that you can't bring up the character wheel uh, while the game is saving. That's one uh, a recurring theme, theme here in free room. So you want to dig up these dig piles here there's multiple dig spots here but you have to dig up all of them and once you do once you find the key you're good now the trick with this is to figure out which key it goes to usually it's the one that's closest to where you're at the other arrows point to that key one we got in the last episode so it goes, the key goes here usually you want to head for the closest thing the game is pointing to. Sometimes it's hard to tell what that is, but <clears throat> if we came over there earlier, we noticed that we were missing a key, and so that's where that key is. So it's best if you know, if you know that there's, a, there's an item coming up that needs a key or a crank, it's best to find the crank first, and then go and do the thing. There's another guy here we have to talk to. Has stolen my priceless family heirloom, the mushroom crown. I went to retrieve it from the Orthark Tower, but I was chased off by a black rider. Please get it back for me. This is another. Uh, this is another one that requires a treasure item from the Black Rider level. So that's like two. Outstanding. Thank you. So. Yeah, so. It is worth collecting the treasure items, if nothing else, to, to, to get to complete these quests for Mithril Bricks. Okay, so I'm just going to fast travel back to Weathertop here. And now... Now we're going to go for the blacksmith design here next. Uh, there's a race starting gate right there. The, and the animal we need for the race is actually right by where... The blacksmith design is so. So grab the blacksmith design, and then we want to ride this goat here. This is the animal we need for this race. So line yourself up. Make sure you're going this way. And I think I, I end up missing a checkpoint here. It's best to kind of look around for these checkpoints here because yeah I, I missed the the checkpoint was off to the to the to the left there but I missed actually it was off to the right but I actually ended up missing the checkpoint. Now if you get off of the if you if you get off of the animal the animal is gonna run back to where it spawned in so just keep riding it. Sometimes if you fail a race, the animal will kick you off and run back to the start. This time, this goat luckily didn't kick us off, so 
don't dismount the animal until you're done with the race, because the animal will run back to where it spawned in, so just note that. So we're gonna go off this way. This time I saw where the where the checkpoint or where the checkpoint was. Yeah, and sometimes it just barely gives you enough time to get to the next checkpoint. Don't be afraid to jump too sometimes with your animal. Every an, most animals can jump, so uh, don't be afraid to use that jump button. And there you go. Yep. See, as soon as I dismount the goat, the goat took off running. So that's generally how it works: is that once you dismount the animal, the animal's going to take off running. So right there, you can see. Right here, you can see we need a crank. Um, and the crank is actually over this way. Um, no, it's not right here. I was looking around for the crank because I couldn't remember where it was. I, I knew it was by the water because you have to fish the you have to fish it out. There's a crank already placed there, but there's the fishing thing right here. And this is the one I was talking about in the last episode. Uh, where for whatever reason fishing with Mary does not work and you'll see why here in a second So I pulled out the crank, but then the crank just disappears It's like what the heck and the fishing spot uh, despawned there so Yeah, for whatever reason fishing with Mary doesn't always work because yeah, the crank totally disappeared on me Don't worry. It's not the end of the world um, because I do end up figuring out what needs to be done here. So I decide to respawn the area and go back over here and check the fishing thing <coughs> again. So luckily the fishing does re reset. I decide to try to, fi to, 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 to fish with Mary again. I failed at that time. And the same thing happened, so I thought, well, shoot, what now? So I thought that there was, so I thought that turning off a action assist would help, but I don't think that was the problem. I don't know why it works that way, but I end up, I think right here, I decided to change to Golem. Yeah, I always forget where Golem's at, so. But, because Golem, when he finishes fishing, the item he pulls out automatically goes into his hand. So fishing with Golem usually generally works better. And I think I end up fishing with Golem for the rest of Free Roam just because the game did that to me. So now we have the crank, so now we can head back this way. To where we had saw that, uh, that crank thing earlier. And as you can see, there's a mythal brick behind that gate, so... Trust me, there's much more difficult cranks and keys that we have to find later to unlock Mithril Bricks. So there we go, another Mithril Brick added to our inventory, and once again, I cannot change characters while it's saving. Ugh. That is one, one of the more annoying things. So now we're gonna uh, head for this Mithril Brick next. As you can see, there's a fire up ahead. This is where our mithril bottomless bucket is going to come into play. Because sometimes finding a water spring is not easy. Usually the water spring is somewhere nearby, but generally it's going to be somewhat tough to find. So better to just pull out the mithril bottomless bucket, pull out the fire. And this is one of those caves I was talking about. You're going to see a lot of this type of cave that you have to quick light up and grab the mythal brick in. You're gonna see a lot of those here in free roam, so just get used to it. So we're gonna head back to uh, weather top. I decided to quick check and see if the if any of these mythal bricks are time sensitive, and there was 
There is one that is, so I figured, okay, well, let's let's go ahead and spawn in here at night time just to try to knock all these mythal bricks out once. Because we came to this early, er, area earlier for red bricks. This area is not too difficult, though, to get to. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna come in here. And the first mental brick we're gonna get is the one that's up there. Up there. So generally, if you're not sure how to get a mental brick, just look around for clues. So like, there's this bar here that we can grab onto. For whatever reason, Legolas sometimes likes to do backflips and it's weird. Missed jump there. These ropes are so hard to grab onto sometimes, I swear. Swinging is something you're gonna have to get decent at. Uh, swinging on ropes is something you're gonna have to get decent at, because there'll be some er, some missile bricks that you have to swing for. Um, I was heading for the exit there earlier. So now in the main area here, we've got these ghostly scorpions to attack. There's only ten of them. They spawn in pretty good, so this one is, isn't isn't hard at all. Um, it's generally a good idea to, to uh, kill the other scorpions that spawn in. Uh, once you get the missile brick, any enemies that spawn in can just be killed and they they don't do anything. They're just there for extra things. Smashing that didn't do us any good. Um, there's a skeleton here but doesn't do anything. So I just smashed it. But here we have this wall here. This is the, this is this is like I said. If there's anything anything obvious, you know, like that. But that, that wall actually didn't do anything. There's a missile brick up there, but to get it, you actually have to do something different. Um, I was looking around here. Yep, there we go. There's the plant. So generally, I like to use Legolas just because he gets boosted jumping. Generally, a good idea when you're climbing stuff to use a character that has boosted jumping like Legolas. And here, that that transfer is a little tricky because that plank that you're jumping onto is very is a very thin uh, plank. So grabbing onto the vines, I swear, the death of me. Come on. There we go. Once again, this transfer is a little tricky. I got it that time, though. And jumping up here is not as bad. Walking in these chains isn't as bad. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. And I've got one more missile brick in here to get, and it's actually right there. There, we'll just use our Berserker for this. Easy enough. <sighs> oh. Okay, so for this one, it actually would have been better for me to follow the guide studs, but I thought, okay, let's... Let's fast travel and make it a little bit faster, but actually probably would have been just as fast to uh, to walk out of that cave and stuff, because now we have to cross the, the stream again. But luckily that arrow stayed there, but we still need to switch to Legolas here to get uh, across here. But once we get across, we're good, so... Didn't really save us that much time though. I don't think this does anything. Actually, it does. I lied. It makes them. It makes those lily pads spawn in, which is actually something. Which is actually kind of a shortcut to get out of here once we're done. So now we need to toss Gimli here. 
And there's our mythal brick. Pretty easy stuff again. So that is not all of Leather Top. We're still short one mythal brick, and it's actually this mythal brick right here by the mountains. So get that one marked here. And we'll go after that. Yeah, that one oddly enough doesn't count as being part of Rivendell because it's actually outside of Rivendell. I believe this is the last mental break that we're gonna go for in this episode. And then uh and then in the next episode we'll be starting a a Riven we'll be going through uh Rivendell. There's a bunch of stuff in Rivendell. So here I wasn't sure what to do for the for the mythal brick, it's actually um, the dig spots here that we have to do. There's actually some. There's actually like four dig spots, and three of them are right here. One of them is kind of hidden. You'll see here in a few seconds. So after not finding the mythal brick, I was like, well, what do what do I do here? Because I didn't want to look it up in the guide. Because I figured I, or I thought I could figure it out, you know. Wasn't any of that, so I decided to try to light these tor these fire these torches here. Turns out that wasn't that wasn't what needed to be done. So you can see the last dig spot right back there. So the last dig spots here, and of course the last one I check happens to have the missile brick. I don't know if it's always the last one you check, but it probably is. So that is going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings. Like I said, next time we're going to be going after Rivendell. So until then, this is Joe Cool 10 signing out.